Today's episode, Big Green Egg Grilling 101. Let's go. On our last episode, we talked about low and slow smoking on the big green egg. Well, guess what? Today, we're going to cover the opposite end of that spectrum, grilling. It's the most popular form of cooking outside that there is. Direct flames. We're going to even show you how you can do two-zone cooking on the big green egg. It's going to be awesome. I want to get into a lot of different stuff, charcoal, accessories, utensils, everything. We're going to cover it all today. So let's get started because we're short on time. First things first, let's talk charcoal here. These are our two most popular charcoals. We have our black bag premium and our yellow bag super premium. The big difference is the size of the chunks. It's the same kind of wood, but it's the size of the pieces. Our black bag is filled with a lot of medium sized pieces. For me, this is much better for grilling. We've covered this already. The yellow bag, the super premium, it's got giant chunks. It's going to burn um, slower and you're going to get it smoldering longer. So we use this for smoking. I like to use the black bag for grilling. It gets a lot of heat going. What's going to happen is you get all these medium sized chunks and it's more surface area. The more surface area burning, the hotter your fire is going to be and the better quality food you're going to have when you're grilling. You get that nice char on the outside of your steaks and burgers. You know that nice crust? Mmm, good stuff. You know, one of the things that I hear all the time is, oh, a charcoal grill, it's so much work, it's so much problems to take. There's almost nothing to deal with. It. They're easily maintainable. Okay, for here, you simply take this out, you have direct access right to your charcoal right there. You want to clean it out, you can do it from the top or you can open up the bottom here, all right? Use this, this is called an ash tool. It's made by Big Green Egg. And all you do, we've covered this in some videos before, but I'm gonna cover it quickly again. Just stick this right in the front and just pull your charcoal out, all your ashes. You're gonna pull it all right out the front here. Just throw it away, it's all done. My last cook I did here was with indirect cooking. So, the only difference I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and set them aside and take out the convector. This is used for indirect cooking only. That's all you use this for. So we're not gonna use this for, we're using it for grilling today, so no convector. Now the big green egg can be used for grilling one of two different ways. If you have the expander system, you can cook direct, either raise direct, where your grates are up here, okay? Or if you wanna be closer to your fire, you can take your grates off and simply set them down here on the lower level. Now don't be scared. I mentioned there's two ways to do it. That was with the expander. If you don't have an expander, that's fine. You can still cook direct. Simply just lay the grate right on top of the fire ring right in there, and you're grilling away. As you can see here, I've still got a bunch of charcoal left from my last cook here. There's nothing wrong with it. I shut down the vents, it extinguished it. It's been sitting here, it's fine. As a matter of fact, it's probably even a little bit drier than what it would be if I put fresh charcoal in here because it has burned a little bit before. The one thing that's the same, whether you're cooking low and slow, whether you're grilling, is you want to start with a clean, eggs. You want to have good airflow. So if you have this basket, use it. If, if not, the big green egg um, plate that came with there, the charcoal grate is, is in the place fine. Just shake this around. Let all of your old ash, all the small pieces, let them all go out through the holes down here and then clean out the bottom. I showed you that ash tool. Just clean out the bottom. Use a shop vac, whatever you want. But always start with a clean egg because if you want hot fire, you need air. So you want to have it all cleaned out for maximum airflow. So I'm gonna share with you today my two favorite ways of lighting charcoal in the big green egg for direct grilling. But first we gotta make sure we have enough charcoal. So let's fill this egg up, and get it ready to go. Both methods that I just mentioned are gonna start with these, our Fogo fire starters. The first way I wanna talk about is using just fire starters. Now when you're direct grilling, you want your whole entire surface area lit, not just one little hole in the middle. So what I like to do is dig out four different little holes here put a fire starter down in there and spread the wealth out a little bit. Get this thing lit all over so that once it does get going, it doesn't take forever for the whole entire surface to light. By the way that we just did this, we have four different spots lit. So what's gonna happen is as the fire goes, it's gonna spread real quickly across the top and have the whole surface area lit. It's gonna help you get to grilling a lot quicker than if you just built one or two little spots of fire. So this is a great way to do it. Let's move on to the second way. The other way I wanted to talk about is a charcoal chimney starter, right? You can get these at pretty much any place like Home Depot, Lowe's, um, Walmart probably has them. The way that it works is there's a grate inside of here. You can probably see that grate just like that. And what happens is that you fill this top end with charcoal and then you light some fire starters down here. And what's going to happen is that it's going to catch the coals on the bottom. And as they burn, it lights the ones on top. It goes about, I would say, probably 10 times quicker than just lighting them like that. So it's a really quick way to do it. I only recommend it for direct grilling. I don't recommend it for indirect. All right, big green eggers. It's been exactly 11 minutes. And look at that. We got flames coming out of the top of there. I would not suggest touching this thing right now without 
heat gloves, okay? These things are awesome. They will protect your hands so much against so many different things. When you're direct grilling, I find it to be a requirement. But all we do now is we pick up our chimney, okay? And just dump our coals. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? The best part about these gloves now is you can actually use them and spread out your fire. Look at that. 11 minutes and we are ready for grilling. We are ready to put the grates on there, put some hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, whatever you want to grill, it's ready. We're going to start with the expander back in here. Remember that video I made about the expander? That one? Yeah, go ahead and click that when you're done watching this. But I'm going to show you some different ways to use this here. So you can use it like that and use these half moon grates like I showed you before. You can put it low and direct or you can do it raised direct. But the really cool part about this is let's say you wanted to reverse sear a steak. All you do is you take your half moon, okay, and set it in here on the bottom as such, and then simply place this grate right above it as such. Now you've got indirect cooking and you've got direct cooking. So you cook your steak over here first. Once it hits that 125, boom, right, move it right over to the direct side. You're searing instantly, no waiting. Pretty cool. But maybe you don't have an expander. No problem. A lot of people don't. All you have to do is grab your grate that comes right with your big green egg and simply set it right on top of the fire, on top of the fire ring and you are grilling away. One of the things that I really like about what Big Green Egg does is they do their homework before they make a product. So if you have the Big Green Egg ash basket where it holds the charcoal and you can shake it like that, you can also get this divider for it. So if you wanted to do two zone cooking, before you put your charcoal in at all, you just set this in the middle, you can fill half of the basket with charcoal and this side can be completely empty. Another additional great way that you can do two zone cooking, two, two, two zone cooking in your Big Green Egg. Now, you wouldn't think that when you're grilling, vent control would be a big thing. Well, it is, okay? We're gonna be grilling with it open like this, so it's gonna be getting plenty of air. Once the fire's going nicely, I like to reach down and just shut this bottom vent. If you find you need a little bit more air, a little bit hotter, just open it back up a little bit. But with the amount of air getting to it, you should be able to grill like that with no problem at all. Hold, really important, safety tip. So you're grilling away and you've shut your dome. You got the top open, your stuff is cooking in there but you wanna open the grill. If you open it just like this, it's gonna get a sudden rush of air in there and you're gonna get a giant fireball. And trust me, any green egg owner that's had their egg for a while and has been grilling has burned the hair off of their arms by just opening it up. Easy, simple way to avoid that, okay? It's called burping your egg. Before you open it, just give it one, two, three, four. Look at that, no fireball. Still plenty of heat, but no fireball and all my arm hair is left intact. That's fire. Let's talk accessories. You do need accessories when you're grilling, especially on the big green egg. I like to have two different sets of tongs, okay? These are shorter handle tongs. These are longer handle tongs. For grilling, I like the longer ones because A, I got the glove here that's protecting my wrist when I'm reaching in and grilling, but also I just got more reach. It gets really hot when you're grilling. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff, all kinds of different spatulas. You got long spatulas. You got hamburger flipping spatulas. You got weird shaped spatulas. Whatever kind you like, use it. That's all good. A um, couple, couple of different things you might want to get. A grill brush. When you're applying glazes, you're putting things on, you, you, you want some kind of sauce on something. Great for that. If you're making something slower, you can use this. It's a mop. Use this, put all your juices on top of your meats. Great way to go. Fish basket. You're cooking fish, you heard it sticks to the grill? Use a fish basket. Plain and simple. Eliminates all sticking problems. And what else? We got, we got baskets for rotisseries. We've got giant spatulas. If you're making something really big, Make a three pound burger, who cares? Flip it with this. So anyway, I hope that you've gotten some great information out of this video. Don't forget to give us a subscribe and like, thumbs up, all that other good stuff that you like to do on the videos. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, get out and grill, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.